I put a little vinegar, just a little bit, to um, clean them up. And uh, I am going to throw a little bit of uh, lime juice. I don't have a full lime. I use it to make lemonade. My lime. Can you hear this guy over there? Lime and mandarin. Oil. So no more lemonade. So I'm going to clean that up. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to have the pot heating on the stove. And on low. So by the time I finish cleaning them up and seasoning it, I'll be ready to put it in the pot. Vinegar. And some store-bought lime juice. Finish it off. And there. Just a little oil in the pot. Just a little bit. Because I'm going to add some water to it to steam down anyway. I like adding the water because, you know, the amount of... I try not to make it too salty. I don't like it salty. So when I add water to it, it takes down that saltiness, saltiness a whole lot more. A whole lot. Just cleaning it up. With that vinegar and lime juice, the water is so chilly because they they were in the refrigerator and they're still a little cold. <laughs> but they're not frozen. I'm gonna cook them up and season them up. Mm. Just clip the head off of just a little bit and a little of the tail. I clip off. And those long tentacles I cut off. So they're like mm -hmm. He's singing. Mm -hmm. See how big they are? They are all clean and ready for my seasoning. Here we go. So I'm going to add some adobo. some paprika generous amount of paprika so um some uh, most times i don't use you know hot scotch bonnet pepper which is traditional um you know habanero pepper when you're making this but um the paprika or cayenne pepper would, would normally do it for me black pepper you know added with other peppers and spices adding a little parsley flakes why not? Some crushed red pepper. Add in the crushed red pepper. I love ginger. Add some ginger. Brown ginger is. I have some lemon pepper. Yeah, he's over there eating crackers. Add some lemon pepper to that. And I'm going to add a little sazon. Add some sazon. Sazon, there you go. Boom. I de I de shelled a whole bunch of garlic, so I have all this garlic. So I'm going to cut some up in my shrimp. Yummy garlic! Get a big clove of garlic right there. Cut it up, and I'm going to just.
just mix in all my seasonings to coat the shrimp. The fire, the my pan, frying pan is on the stove already, and it's practically heated. So if I put it, I put it on low so that it won't be too hot. I'm gonna add, mix this around a little bit more, and I'm, oops, coat them, and I'm gonna add it to. I don't like it too spicy because I like to enjoy my food and I want to have to be worried about pepper instead of enjoying the taste of the food. So this is going to be you know, a little spicy but not like the traditional Jamaican pepper shrimp. This is my way of doing it. Alright, so it's all mixed in and I am going to add it to my pot. Yes. All right. Uh -oh. Add them in. Yep. Add them in. And just give them a little space to get their uh, cook on. There you go. And I'm going to add. Look. They don't even, they don't take that long to cook, but I like to cook them thoroughly. I'm going to add some water in my bowl and wash all the additional seasoning out and add it to the pot, including all of those uh, little bits and pieces of my garlic. Nothing wasting. There you go. By the way, I used the water from the kettle, um, not the pipe. The water from the kettle is already boiled, so that's the water I used to add. And I'm going to just rinse this bowl up with the water and get everything in and I'm going to add this to the pot. Look at that. I actually just turned them over. So I am going to add my additional liquid to the pot and let it steam out. I'm going to cover it and just let it steam. So that's how I like it. Woohoo! So I added my water in and I turned the stove up a little bit and I'm going to cover. So I'm going to cover it and let it cook when it's done. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know how you make your uh, pepper shrimp. Give me some of your tips. Share some of your tips with me. Look at that. I wish you guys can smell it. It smells so yummy. It's almost done. See how nice they curl? Basically all done and ready to eat. Well, you know, it'll cool a little bit. <laughs> Don't want to burn yourself up. Yummo. Oh, done. Turn the stove off. There you go.